Gents, you understand the rules you're following. They're listening at all times. Keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, now's the time. God bless. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, and it got kind of hostile in here. There is Alexander Volkov. He has smiled all the way from the back. And there's the calm and collected face of Tom Aspinall with the backing of Team Cowbomb behind him. This is the biggest fight of his career. Alexander Volkov beats a former champion right here in this building. He'll be looking to emulate that performance tonight. Tom wasting absolutely no time. Never does, does he, Michael? Nah, he's a fast guy, fast starter. Not so much a fast talker, though. Let's his fist do that. And there oh it is! Goodness. One, the two, three! Unbelievable speed for a man of his size. He was a little guy growing up, and he's carried that agility and speed with him, that, that welterweight style, they call it, at Cowbomb. He's certainly not intimidated by the moment, being the aggressor early. There's a nice check for Volkov. And straight oh, in, look, look at look. that! Wonderful timing. The entire octagon shook. Mixing his arts early is Tom Aspinall. Ducking down with absolute authority, and he's in a great position. Side control with the right underhook. Smart to pull Volkov away now, from that fence a little bit too. Yeah, gonna chip away with elbows. If he can get a dominant position here, I mean, we could have an early night. Volkov looking for a lockdown on the right leg of Aspinall, but he's not really stretching him out at the moment. I mean, they are right here, just feet right away in front, in front of, of us. us. Cut already opened up on the side of the head there of Volkov. Dropping those elbows. Big pressure early from Aspinall. Volkov's going to try and get full guard back. He's going to try and get back to his feet. He's got the underhook on the left side. Ooh, He's going to get on the right elbow and try and start to build the base. But Tom is having absolutely none of it. Oof. There's another elbow. Aspinall giving him a oh. shilling at the moment. Huge punches here from the Manchester man. Volkov's got no answer for this right now. No, this is just explosive ground and pound from Tom right now. And you see the head of Volkov starting to really leak here. He's got to be careful trying to get up from oh, here. Oh, he's got a Camaro yeah. grip. He's going to pull and he's that got over a leg to the other well. side here. But he's got it in deep. Volkov needs to be very careful here. One mistake, this fight's over. Tom backs out of it. Let it go. Knee to the midsection. There's Huge the elbows. elbows. Nice job by Volkov, though. Back yeah, to his feet. His head at him. He's like, come on, bro. You think that's all I got? Oh, right hand from Volkov. One thing that Volkov said, and I'm not sure if I agree with it, but he said, Tom hasn't been to deep waters. I have many times. I believe that's a disadvantage for Tom. I don't know if it is, but that certainly seems to be the approach or the mindset for Volkov that if he can get Tom, and that's a big if, if he can get him to the later rounds, he'll start to take over. But that if is getting bigger and bigger by the second. Still have two minutes in this first round. Oh, oh. bit of a slip. Oh, nicely dug there by Aspinall. A little smile from Volkov as well. It's the ear as well. He split the ear of Volkov open. At least that's what it looked like. Oh, that, wow. I mean, unbelievable head movement by Aspinall. That's how you do it. You slip the shot, you use the, their forward momentum against you. You drive through. I mean, the guy is so technically good. He's listening to his corner, looking up, waiting for instruction. As I said, he's so calm and composed. And now this is trouble. Straight arm lock attempt here from Aspinall. He's done it! What a moment for Tom Aspinall! That is the biggest win of his career. And he is loving every second of it. Well, rightly so. We've got a few Modellos flying around. People are chucking beers in the air, <laughs> celebrating early. Darren Till's got Tom up in the air. Let him go pretty quick because that's a big old boy to hold up. <laughs> Come on, Darren, I thought you were working out.
That is a huge scout pull for Tom Aspinall. He takes out a guy in the top 10. You can think it's only big things from here on in as he embraces his father. They have dreamt of this moment since he was a boy. Look at the timing. Slip, boom, double, right through, drives through, immediately pushes the knee down, gets to half guard, shoulder pressure into a submission attempt. You can't write it any better than that. That is just pure mixed martial arts at its best right there. From a huge man weighing 253 pounds, that's impressive, Tom Aspinall. He mixed his arts very nicely indeed. And that's a tough Oof. arm lock to pull Oof. off to see the elbow that pop. Pops. That pops. Volkov tried to hold on. And look at that. Aspinall BJJ will be very proud of that one. His father was one of the first jiu-jitsu black belts in this country. And you can see that that one was for his father when he went over to him and brought him into the octagon. Well, time now to give Tom Aspinall his moment. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a straight arm lock, Tom!